Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Quinn, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a two-year review on my CalPak carry-on luggage. I'm going to be talking about the feature, the look, and the durability of this carry-on. And if you're looking to buy a CalPak luggage, then please continue watching. Okay, you guys, so before we start, I do wanna say that I am aware of some review on um, the quality issue of these carry-on. A lot of people say they checked it in once and everything just kind of fell apart like the wheels came off the plastic got broken in personally I've been using this for two years and I've gone on I guess nine in-state trip it's held up for me this is just my personal experience so that being said let's get into the review okay, you guys this is what mine looks like I got it in gold I actually got this as a gift from my sister and I love it. I love the design. It is so nice. And I'm going to take you closer. So this is the front. It's a little dinged up because I did use it for two years. This is the side and the back. And here are the scratches. There, here on the sides. Also, again, a little bit there. And then this little plastic thing is coming off. Honestly, that is about it. Like a little bit here. Okay guys, so let's start with what I like about this carry-on. I like the design. It is so sleek and simple. It is very lightweight, six pounds to be exact. And I love a lightweight carry-on because, I mean, who, who doesn't like a lightweight carry-on? Because you have to put that in the cabin. And I, my biggest fear is for me to like drop it on someone's head, pulling it down, or trying to like place it up. So I love that it is lightweight. And like also the design, I mentioned the design is so sleek and nice. It looks like it's aluminum, but it's not. It's plastic, so it's so lightweight. Um, another feature is this um, top handle there is a little rubber piece under the top handle and I swear my other carry-on must be like so crappy or something because when I first gripped on this top handle it's like buttery soft and so comfortable because of this rubber cushion and then they also have another handle on the side as well so you can hold it up from the side oh look um there's a little scratch there from wear and tear the plastic piece is coming off so anyways there is another handle on the side and also there is the rubber support cushion on the side as well and there's these little um nuggets thingy on the bottom of the luggage so you can lay it flat on the ground anywho so another feature is this extendable trolley handle so it can go all the way up or you press the button from here and place it in the middle it's so easy to maneuver i really like it a lot and then another thing I like is the 360 wheel. So basically that means you can do this with no problem. I love this 360 thing because I have other carry-ons that can only go this way. And that's about it. I love this so much because it can go sideways. So when you have your bag or purse on top and you're moving around the airport you can go any way you want okay another feature that i like is there is this uh, i'm gonna take it closer so there is this tha lock thingy it's so hard for me to do it holding the luggage up with my knee so you kind of just put the two zipper inside the lock like this and let's, for example, if you leave it on zero, that's gonna be your code. And then you kind of just move it around, whatever. And if you wanna unlock, you put it back on zero and boom. TSA will also have a key to open your luggage just in case they wanna check 
your bags or whatnot so often they run out of cabin space and i always have to check in this bag i feel safe to know that my bag is locked and secure i guess i should share i think out of the nine trips i have to check in this bag about half so like four or five times and the luggage is still pretty good and i i just really 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 love it next thing that i like about this is i have to turn this upside down is this thing this zipper you can expand the luggage about one inch so this is to zip and make it all compact and smaller or whatnot and it goes all the way around and then if you unzip it expands just in case you know when you need extra room or whatever but once you do fill up the luggage and you want it to look a little bit more compact then you zip it back up and it squishes in together so there are these little metal patches on all the corners of the carry-on so then it's like more durable the body itself though is plastic so I can see why if something were to puncture the sides of the plastic, I feel like it would crack and break. So I guess it's just how careful someone throws your bag. If it lands on the corners, then I think everything should be fine. However, if something kind of punctures the sides of the bag, it might break. I don't know. It, it might yeah so i mean i'm just happy my bag is still in good condition okay let's talk about so that's i guess that's one of the con is the bag is made of plastic the wheels however i have not had any problems with the wheels they look fine to me so this is how the carry-on opens up i put my clothes on this side and there's this little tab thingy here where you can secure your clothing and there's this little pouch on the side i don't think i've ever used this for anything but yeah there's this pouch if you need it and then on this left side there is two pouch that maybe for like sneakers or what i use it for is like a comb and my curler or strainer and then this little mesh pouch here i put in like my underwear and like whatnot whatever in there swimming suits so i put it there and then behind here is where i tend to put my shoes and more clothes and like if my clothes are dirty then i put my dirty clothes on this side inside a bag and zip it up yeah so the zipper is really smooth See, I'm using it with one hand and it's very smooth. I want to show you a closer look of hardware. Okay, so I guess we should talk about the cons. There was a price increase on this carry-on. Two years ago, it was 135 and now it's 165 so that's like so much more expensive um however you can buy a dual with the carry-on and the large luggage for 325 so you save about like 20 bucks um let's see how long this will last me but i do really love this carry-on and i would recommend it just because it looks so nice and it's lightweight would i buy this again with the price increase yes i would if i needed a carry-on i would definitely buy this carry-on again because so far i've been using it and it's worked fine for me so some other colors that i really like in this is the silver love that color and black so all in all i do recommend this cow pack carry-on i really like the design of this i don't know about the quality but i mean it held on for nine trips in state hopefully it can hold on longer but i really like it the price point is like not that bad please give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful or enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and click that post notification bell to get notified when i post next and i will see you in my next video bye